I am powerful. I am strong. I am confident. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I'm a leader. Those are the words I say to myself before doing or facing something difficult. They remind me that I'm capable, just like all of you. As humans, we tend to share weaknesses more than our strengths. Why do we do that? Why do we have the need of recognizing them and torture ourselves for them? Why do we see them just as bad things? Some might say that we do this to perceive in which areas we need to work for growing as a person. That's true, we need to do this, but why don't we do this same with our strengths to also have the possibility to grow? We should find our strengths, our own potential, and then we'll be able to grow. Last year, I joined a group of volunteers at my school for doing online classes for kids. One day, a woman called us and asked if we could help her 12 year son because he wasn't motivated while doing things for school. I helped this kid, and for motivating him, every day before starting classes, he played a game. After three months of having online classes with him, I noticed that he had improved in a tremendous way, so I gave him a diploma to congratulate him. When I gave it to him, at first, he looked at me with confused eyes. He didn't understand why I was giving it to him. I explained that during the time we were together, he had an incredible attitude and put all his effort to get where he was at that time. He said to me, thank you. This is the first time someone actually congratulates me for what I do. They never appreciate all my effort. How do you think he values himself after understanding how society sees him? That day, I understood that we in a society that is making kids like him believe that they're not enough. That they need to change who they really are for being successful. And that's what actually demotivates them. We focus on the results and not in the process. Let's take the following idea. The fact is that given the challenges we face, education doesn't need to be reformed. It needs to be transformed. The key to its transformation is not to standardize education, but to personalize it, to build a team on discovering the individual talents of each child, and to put students in an environment where they want to learn and where they can naturally discover their true passions. This idea is from the book, The Element, from Ken Robinson, a British author and advisor on education who I really admire. In 2002, the Corporate Leadership Council studied managers from a company in UK. They found out that when they emphasize strengths in their performance, it increases by 36.4%. And when they focus on their weaknesses, their performance reduces by 26.4%. Think about this. If you would recognize your own strengths and apply them at work, school, sport, or wherever you want, your development will increase in a 36.4%. Now, let's say it this way. If each person in this world would do the same exercise of recognizing his or her own strengths, as a society, we will have an increase in our development of 36.4%. Isn't it incredible? And it only takes us to recognize which is our own potential to apply in our daily life. When we define potential, we use the word develop, which tells that you aren't just born with this potential. You need to work on it for giving it the chance of being useful. We all have that special thing we're good at, qualities that are only ours. An interesting thing about them is that today may be one and tomorrow another. They're what makes us special. It is our responsibility to change the way our society works. We have the power to start with ourselves and the future will be leaders that transform people. By finding your own potential, you can find your meaning of life, which is the key to happiness. But how do we do this? How do we find our own potential? Please imagine that you're at your kitchen eating a delicious apricot. You are really enjoying it. Once you finish it, you go outside, dig a hole in the ground, and plant the pit. You water it every day. And after some time, you have something incredible. 
What is it? An apricot tree. It is this simple. The apricot pit was meant to be an apricot tree. It's the same thing with us. We're all meant to be something, someone. We all have that pit inside of us. We just need to work on giving that light the possibility of being a tree. We all have a different pit or light. For finding your own potential, you need to recognize and value that light you have inside. I invite and challenge each of you to think about these three questions. What is that thing that you really enjoy doing? And when you go to sleep at night, it makes you feel full, great. How can this make you grow as a person? And finally, how can this be your pit to make this world a better place?